Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's video, we are going to be doing an update of my week-long trial of So Clingy and Sober Over It, the base coat and top coat by Light Slacker. Um, last week, I did a swatch of the new Light Slacker Sweet Summer collection, and I also included a small review of the base coat and the top coat, as you can see here. This is back when I painted it. This was last week, Wednesday the 8th, and now I am going to show you what it looks like on Monday, or what it looked like on Monday, I should say. This is my thumb. As you can see, the edge here has kind of pulled off, but then again, I am doing a lot of house stuff. So, eh, I mean, I don't really think that was too much. There's definitely shrinkage. I forgot to wrap the nail polish around the tip of my nail, and that is my own fault. So you can see the tiniest bit of my free edge sticking out. This is why it's important to wrap the nail polish around the edge. Next comes Wednesday, when I was going to take this off. I had um, a few more substantial chips not that big a deal. My nails are very thin and because of that, like naturally without any base coats or um, gel coats on there for anything, the, the nail itself is very thin. So once there's a free edge, it gets very flexible and nail polish chips off of that. I did notice that the shine of the top coat wasn't as shiny, but it has been a week and it took, I wanna say around, Saturday was when I started noticing it being a little bit more dull. Um, I also noticed that my index finger was stained from my jam. If I didn't have the base coat on there, I think the stain would have been even worse, but the rest of my nails were fine. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just do a whole new manicure because obviously I have to, right? And I'm going to be using Hefa, I'm going to be using now and later, Cherry Jelly and Tuxedo Mask. I'm going to start off with my silicone nail art mat and take Tuxedo Mask and I'm going to make little watermelon seeds. I know, like a lot of people do watermelon nail designs and everyone's like, oh my god, it's so basic because it's summer. But you know what? I think it's cute, so I like it. I'm putting the seeds down and then I'm going to cover them with a regular clear polish so that I can pick them up as a decal because I'm doing this on my right hand and I am horrible at painting designs on my nails with my left hand. I'm starting off and I'm going to be using two coats of the So Clingy base coat. I'm doing this because Cherry Jelly is a very bright red color and it might stain my nails. So I'm doing two coats to keep the staining to a minimum. This time I will not be forgetting to wrap my nail. I'm going to start off by doing that and then doing two coats of Cherry Jelly. Cherry Jelly was the only one out of the six polishes that I hadn't tested with the So Clingy base coat. And to be honest, it goes on really smoothly over So Clingy. I thought it was fine without it, but with So Clingy as the base, it actually goes on a bit smoother. After I let that dry for about 15 minutes, I'm going to apply the top coat. I'm going to do this first because I want to do a sort of French with um, now and later, and I have to use tape. The tape sticks to the nail polish even if it is dry. For some reason, top coat makes it so it doesn't stick as much. This is regular tape. I don't have any of those French manicure little white tapes. I used to, I have no idea where they are. So I just laid four pieces of tape over each other on the silicone mat, and then I just traced it with a permanent marker so that I could cut off the curvature I needed to get the French done. I started off with Now and Later as the base. I think I should have gone with Hefa as the base, but either way, it has the look I wanted, so I, eh, I'm not gonna go pick at it too much. I'm taking Hefa on a tiny little detail brush and just doing a few stripes along the French area of the nail to get that watermelon rind look. Now I'm gonna pick up my decal. I placed a drop of clear nail polish on my nail to make it sticky. And now I'm applying the decal over that little drop of clear nail polish just to make sure it sticks and there's no air bubbles or anything underneath it. Once I've got that down, I'm going to apply my top coat, which I am using the Sew Over It. When I do designs like this, I let the nail completely dry for about 30 minutes. All of the layers are gonna keep it wet. 
So you want to make sure that it's extremely dry before you go doing anything else. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.